Tuberculosis, or TB, is an infectious disease caused by the Mycobacterium tuberculosis. TB bacteria are very small and can only be seen with a microscope. In this animation, we show them much larger than they really are, so you can easily see them. TB can be either latent or active in your body. This character represents latent TB bacteria. This character represents active TB bacteria. In its latent form, a person carries this bacteria but will not infect other people unless it becomes active. In its active form, the bacterium spreads from person to person through the air. This animation describes ways to effectively manage active TB if you do become infected. Effective TB management begins with preventing its spread. Spending time near people with active TB can lead to you catching TB. If a person with TB coughs, speaks, or sings, the bacterium can live for up to four hours in the air, but dies quickly in sunlight. Most infections for this reason occur indoors. To minimize spread of the disease, people infected with active TB should wear a mask if possible and keep rooms in their house well ventilated and exposed to sunlight as much as possible. Effective TB management also involves detecting, diagnosing, and treating the condition. For children in countries with a high prevalence of TB, a vaccine exists that can sometimes be used to prevent childhood TB. However, you will need to consult with a doctor or healthcare provider to determine if this vaccine is available and appropriate for your child. Detecting latent TB is done with a skin test or a blood test. Detecting active TB is mostly done with a sputum sample. If TB is detected, either latent or active, you will want to be placed on a TB antibiotic treatment plan. This involves taking medicine daily and is the best way to keep your TB from spreading. The most common treatment for drug-susceptible TB involves taking four antibiotics together. People with TB need to follow their doctor's instructions and never skip any prescribed antibiotics. Sometimes it is best to place a person with active TB in a patient care center to minimize the spread of TB. The treatment period can last from three to nine months until all of the TB bacteria are eliminated. During treatment, people with TB should try to limit their contact with others, especially the elderly, young children, and people with HIV. If possible, they should wear masks before going anywhere in public, including their doctor's office and before meeting with other people. After the treatment, another test will be needed to confirm there are no more TB bacteria in their body. For people with active TB who are not treated properly or did not follow the doctor's instructions to take the antibiotics on time, the TB bacteria in their body may become drug resistant to the antibiotics. When the bacteria become resistant to multiple drugs, it is known as multidrug resistant tuberculosis, or MDR-TB. This character represents MDR-TB bacteria. This makes it much more difficult to cure. Treatment plans for MDR-TB involve another group of antibiotics called second-line antibiotics. Effective management of active TB can cure the disease and prevent its spread. The best way to do this is to follow your treatment plan exactly as instructed by your doctor. By working effectively with your healthcare provider in this way, TB can be defeated.